Hello, it's Nathan from the photography team here. In this video, I just want to run through how I use the Epson V370 scanner to scan in my um, color negatives. I'll show you how I use the software and I'll show you the results that it gives us. So let's jump straight into this and join me over at the scanner. So the first thing we need to do with the Epson V370 photo scanner is remove the standard backing. Here we have a guide where you can put in 35mm film or slides. So what you do is we release this, we will get our strip of film you need to have the back side of the film facing upwards. A couple of little grooves here that hold the film in place. You can close the retainer. The film's in the film carrier. What I normally do now is just give it a quick wipe front and rear. Give the flatbed scanner a clean. Now you'll find on here there's little guides which have to line up with some guide holes on the actual scanner. That then lines up the film with the back illumination uh, panel here. So we can now shut that and we'll move on to the computer. The film is in the scanner. Let's open up the Epson scan software. Now when you open it up you'll be greeted with this panel here. Uh, there's various modes but if you want to get the best results keep it on to professional mode. At the moment we're using uh, film. There are you can have reflective um, but we're also using film. film. And we're using a colour negative film. There are other options, positive film or black and white film. So let's get colour. Image type. Now I always want to get the best possible, so I'll go for a 48 uh, bit colour. Now the resolution, there are numerous options for the uh, DPI. I mean it does go up to 12,800, but then your file size is going to be probably 200 megabyte. But uh, for me, 3200 is normally enough. We'll leave the, the uh, document size alone. Uh, we get down to the adjustments panel. Now the only thing I'll have selected is uh, unsharp mask. Uh, three options, low, medium or high. I'll keep it on low. All that does it will, is it will just slightly sharpen the, um, the resulting image. Like I said, there are other options, grain reduction, colour restoration, backlight correction, and dust removal. Um, I find that it's easier for me, personally, to make all my um, adjustments in Lightroom once the, the image has been scanned. Okay, now what we need to do is click the uh, preview button. Now the scanner will, will then obviously generate a preview of the uh, negatives that we have in the scanner. Just takes a few moments. Now what it'll do, it'll scan the strip of six images and then it will automatically cut them out into individual images. Um, now as you can see, this little button here under the adjustments is the auto panel. Um, I'll always have that selected. I'll show you what will happen if that's not selected. So if we select all images, and then deselect the um, auto exposure button. Sorry, the, we'll hit the reset. Now this is the negatives um, prior to any adjustment. And as you'll see, they have a little bit of a blue tone to them. Uh, we're still new at developing our own color negatives. And at the moment we are just experiencing this, this blue tone.
Now we can, from here, we can uh, individually edit the images. So if we um, we'll select the first image, now if we want to adjust the color to that ourselves, we come down to the adjustments panel, and all you really need to do is hit the histogram button, which brings up this histogram panel, and individually, on the red, green, and blue channel, just bring the uh, indicators in. You know, you'll notice the image is obviously changing colour, and you may think that looks rather red. But if you just do this with every single channel, you will notice that the colour is coming back to uh, how it should be. Um, but for this demonstration, I will select all, and I will hit auto adjustments, because that is how I um, export my images. Now this image of my uh, my my dog Woody, if we click that one, we can rotate that so that it's the correct orientation so that when it's scanned it will scan in the correct orientation. Now once we're ready what we do is we click the scan button. Now we can um, select a, a prefix, Leica, because these were taken on my Leica, and then we can go from image number one. We'll send them to the desktop. Um, I will just create a new folder, which is test. And we will click OK. We're saving them as a TIFF because that's the, the best. Um, option for this to get the best quality. Uh, Macintosh obviously. If you want to you can select black and white but uh, we're obviously want these in colour so we'll click OK and what will happen is is that uh, the scanner will kick into motion and the images will be scanned. So we'll just let this run its course because as you can see it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so it's just scanning the final image of the strip of six negatives. Um, so I'll just wait for this uh, one to finish. And then I'll just quickly show you what results this has given us um, in the TIFF um, image. Okay, so that's now finished. Um, it will bring up the uh, software again, but we don't need that so we can close that. This is obviously where I told the images to be uh, sent. Um, and this is what has um, been produced from the Epson V370 scanner. I'll just quickly go through these images. Uh, nothing special. Um, just been running through films to um, practice the developing stage. But as you can see, they're not that bad considering we're using a um, £80 scanner. So what I would do from here now is I would take those images into uh, Lightroom and then I would do my own adjustments and then export them as a JPEG. So I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how I scan in my colour negatives using the Epson V370 scanner. If you have any tips on why my negatives are coming out blue at the moment then please feel free to comment uh, I would appreciate your help as we are very new to color developing and scanning uh, and if you like this video then please like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching I'm Nathan from the photography team